Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can increase your FPS and get better performance, fix all of your lags, stuttering, and every other issue with Apex Legends Season 21 dropped recently. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end. Do leave your specs down in the comments below. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential Windows settings and for that search up settings on your PC and once you're over here go down to gaming, go over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar turned off will give you better FPS since less number of processes are running in the background. Right after that go back to gaming, go over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will ultimately give you extra and better FPS. Right beneath that you'll find graphic settings, simply open this thing up and then click on change default graphic settings. Then enable both of these options that is hardware accelerated GP as well as optimizations for windowed games. Both of them will help you to utilize your GPU to render your game as well as reduce your input latency. After that go back to graphics and then in this list you have to click on the browse button and then go over to the install location of Apex Legends. Once you find your Apex Legends folder, simply scroll all the way down and you'll find r5apex.exe. Simply click on add and I've already added it to my list. Go over to options and then select high performance and then click on save. Once that is done, close your settings. Step number two is the compatibility settings. And for that, once again, go over to your folder where you have installed your Apex Legends. Now, once again, select r5 apex.exe, go over to properties, go to compatibility and make sure that disable full screen optimizations is selected and then click on change DPI settings and then check on this option, click on OK and then click on OK. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. There are multiple payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Step number 3 is deanimating your windows and this is very very important. Search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you are here, click on adjust for best performance and then select save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. All of them will help you to minimize the look of your windows and keep it subtle but deanimate the rest of everything and it will help you to increase your system performance. Next step is setting up your virtual memory and it is right in the advanced section of the performance options. For processor scheduling set this thing to programs and then for virtual memory click on change, deselect automatically manage paging file size and in the custom size for the initial size set this thing to 1361 MB. It is the best value because it is just a little bit over 1 GB, right beneath that you'll find maximum size. For that simply Simply search for system information on your PC and you'll find install physical memory of your PC that is 32 GB for me so now open up a calculator and then multiply 32 with 1024 and you'll get the size in megabytes simply divide this value by 2 and paste this value in the maximum size and click on set this is how you optimally set your virtual memory that will help you to gain extra fps whenever you're in the game next step is disabling unwanted services on your pc and for that press windows and r key together and then type in msconfig once it opens up go over to the services section and then click on hide all microsoft services and then disable all unwanted services right over here. This can include app updating service, fan service, RGB service, browser update service and so much more. Just be aware of whatever you are disabling because it could be an important service such as VGC which is important to run Valorant. Once that is done, simply click on OK. Next step is fixing all of your ping, packet loss and latency issues using exit lag. Exit lag is pro's choice and you can download it from the link in the description below. Once you open up the application, it should look like this and it is pretty simple. Search on this list, you can find 
Apex Legends from a list of 1000 games to choose from and then pick the nearest region to you. For me, it will be Singapore 01 and it will be showing you guys the estimated ping that you'll be getting in the game. Simply click on apply routes and it will one click optimize your ping. Basically, what Exit Lag does is it tunnels your internet straight from your PC to the game servers, which will in turn help you to fix all of your network issues that will reduce hindrances decrease your internet latency and so much more. The best part about exit lag is the tool section right over here which offers you a dedicated FPS boost section wherein if you enable the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, third last and last option it will help you to gain extra FPS in the game. And this is exactly why I recommend exit lag to you guys. Once again, if you go check out Exit Lag from my link in the description below, you can get a 2 plus 1 month free. So go check out Exit Lag, links are down in the description below. Next step is creating a registro point and this is super essential. Search for create a registro point on your PC and then locate your local disk C. Simply click on create and name it Apex just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step, it only takes a minute and this is super essential. So do not skip it if you want to restore every setting back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and Low system properties. Next step is the Apex Legends Season 21 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Additionally, you can also join my Discord server for the downloading tutorial as well. In this folder, I have left in six simple folders that is CPU priority. Simply open it up and you'll find in two folders for AMD and Intel CPU priority. Now, if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. If you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. Second folder is the Apex Legends optimization and in which I have left high priority and GPU priority. Simply double click to run both of them and set your apex to the higher priority whenever you're running it. Get back to the third folder and you'll find RAM optimization. Once again, I use 32 GB RAM so I need to run this registry. However, I have left a ton of presets for you guys to double click and run it. And if you don't like it, you can always reset it back to default. Fourth folder is the input latency fix and if you guys are suffering from input latency, you can always do apply these. It will disable high precision event timer, memory compression and mitigations. These are the wide causes which causes input latency on your PC. And I need to run them as administrator and all it basically does is it runs a bunch of commands like this that you do not have to automatically do it to reduce your input latency. Next is the unwanted services and this is completely optional. If the rest of the steps have given you better FPS, I would suggest you guys not to do it. But if you want to do it for the best settings and for the best FPS, you can always disable these unwanted services on your PC such as Bluetooth services, co-parking services, extra unnecessary services, Xbox services and this will save a lot of CPU usage and ultimately giving you better FPS. However, you can always revert them back to normal with this folder. Last is the programs folder in which I have left MSI utility v3. Simply right click and run this as administrator. Once it opens up, simply locate your GPU, click on the MSI button right in front of it and then for the interrupt priority, set this thing to high. Once that is done, simply click on apply and it will set your GPU affinity to a higher state. Once everything is done, open up Steam on your PC, locate Apex Legends, right click on it, go over to properties and once it opens up, you have to make sure that on the launch options, select hyphen high space use all available course right over here and then simply close it. Then open up Apex Legends and follow the best in-game settings possible for your PC. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then go over to settings. Now go all the way down to video settings. And once you're over here, you have to make sure that you always play on full screen. However, you can lower your resolution down to gain extra FPS. Then sprint view shake should be minimal. VSync should be disabled. Nvidia reflex, I prefer enabled plus boost. Then scroll down until you find anti-aliasing. Turn this thing off. Texture streaming budget low. However, you can go with medium as well. Texture filtering, go with anisotropic 2x. Ambient occlusion quality disabled. Sun shadow detail and coverage high. Spot shadow detail high. Volumetric lightning disabled dynamic spot shadows enabled then you have model detail map detail effect detail impact detail set this thing to high all of them and impact marks set this into disabled ragdolls keep it medium once that is done simply click on apply then go over to audio settings and then over here make sure that your output configuration is set to default by device then simply click on escape and now you can enjoy Apex Legends with the best settings and best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. It really helps me out. Also, if you are not a channel member yet, consider getting the membership as it really helps the channel out. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.